So last week I was exploring some of the newest survival games for your PlayStation, and let me tell you, I stumbled upon some real gems. Today, I'm excited to share with you the absolute best ones I found. Hit the like button. And... Starting with number 20 is Pacific Drive. Buckle up for Pacific Drive, a survival extraction game that's more than meets the eye. Forget scenic cruises. This is about turning a beat-up station wagon into your ultimate tool for survival amidst paranormal challenges. While it may test your patience with its repetitive gameplay, there's a rewarding sense of progress as you upgrade your car and tackle the unknown. It's not for everyone, but for those who appreciate its unique approach, Pacific Drive delivers a solid experience coming up next number 19 is Enshrouded. Embark on an exciting journey through the mystical world of Embervale and Enshrouded, where survival amidst a deadly fog is key. Customize your character and choose from various gameplay modes, including single-player and multiplayer options. Establish your base with a flame altar for crafting, storage, and progression, and unlock bonuses by upgrading. Explore the vast world. Engage in diverse combat using melee and ranged weapons, shields, and magical abilities, and uncover hidden treasures and landmarks. Up next, number 18 is Level Zero Extraction. In my opinion, Level Zero Extraction seems to offer a fresh and exciting take on multiplayer survival horror games, blending elements from popular titles like Escape from Tarkov and Alien Isolation. The asymmetrical gameplay, where players can either be mercenaries or monsters, adds a unique dynamic that promises intense and strategic encounters. The emphasis on teamwork, customization, and the innovative light mechanic creates a thrilling and immersive experience that seems well-suited for the next-gen capabilities of the PS5. Moving on to the next game, number 17, is Don't Starve Together. Embark on an adventure in a huge world full of different landscapes, resources, and dangers. You can explore caves, sail to islands, and more. Fight together against tough enemies and scary creatures, grow food to survive, and build shelters to stay safe. Teamwork is essential as you tackle challenges and explore together. Coming up next, number 16 is Dead by Daylight. In this multiplayer horror game, one player is the killer, and four others are survivors trying to escape. Survivors have better awareness in third-person view, while the killer focuses on hunting in first person. Each game is different with procedurally generated levels and changing environments. Players can cooperate or be selfish, but teamwork increases survival chances. With diverse killers inspired by horror icons, customization options, and deep progression systems, strategy is crucial. Up next, number 15 is the forest. As the lone survivor of a passenger jet crash, you find yourself in a mysterious forest battling to stay alive against a society of cannibalistic mutants. Enter a living, breathing world where every tree and plant can be chopped down, and below ground, explore a vast network of caves and underground lakes. Chop down trees to build a camp or start a fire to keep warm, and scavenge food to stave off starvation. Build a small shelter or a large oceanside fortress. Lay traps and defenses to maintain a safe perimeter, and explore and build during the day while defending your base at night. Craft weapons and tools, bunker down during the evening, or bring the fight directly to the enemy. Defend yourself against a clan of genetic mutant enemies with beliefs, families, morals, and appearances almost human, using stealth to evade enemies or engaging them directly with crude weapons built from sticks and stones. Moving on to the next game, number 14 is Metro Exodus. In 2019, a gripping first-person shooter was released. Set in a post-apocalyptic world based on Dmitry Glukovsky's novels, the game follows Artyom and his crew as they escape the Moscow Metro and embark on a perilous journey to the Far East aboard the Aurora locomotive. Players explore large, open levels while facing mutants and hostile humans, crafting weapons, and scavenging for resources to survive. The game received positive reviews for its visuals, gameplay, and story, with over 10 million units sold. Coming up next, number 13, is Dune Awakening. Survive and thrive on the dangerous planet of Arrakis in this unique open-world survival MMO. Explore vast deserts, encounter iconic characters, and build your identity through deep character creation. Navigate cataclysmic storms and deadly sandworms while managing water and crafting shelters. Engage in epic combat and control valuable resources like spice. Create alliances and rise to power in this immersive survival experience. Up next, number 12, is Green Hell. In the 2019 survival game by Creepy Jar, players venture into the Amazon rainforest. Available on multiple platforms, they assume the role of Jake Higgins, an anthropologist in search of his missing wife, Mia. Survival is paramount as players collect resources, craft shelter and weapons, and manage health and diet while facing dynamic environmental changes and indigenous dangers like the Waraha faction. Moving on to the next game, number 11, is Subnautica Below Zero. In Subnautica Below Zero, players explore an ocean planet as Robin Ayu, investigating her sister's disappearance. Survive by collecting resources, 
crafting tools, and managing health. Uncover the truth about Altera's involvement with dangerous bacteria while assisting Al An, an architect, in building a new body. Released in May 2021, Below Zero expands on its predecessor's story and gameplay. Coming up next, number 10 is Days Gone. In the game, players control Deacon St. John, navigating a post-apocalyptic world overrun by freakers, zombie-like creatures. Sometimes, just walking around in the game can be scary, especially when a bunch of zombies suddenly appear out of nowhere. Deacon completes missions, fights enemies, and maintains his motorcycle while searching for his missing wife. The game offers multiple approaches to objectives, including stealth tactics and weapon customization. Deacon's journey intertwines with conflicts with rival factions like the Rippers and the Militia. As the story unfolds, he discovers the truth about the Freaker virus and must confront its dangers. Up next, number nine is Breathage Embark on an ironic outer space survival adventure reminiscent of Subnautica, but set in the vast cosmos. Assume the role of the man, initially tasked with a simple mission to transport his grandpa's ashes to a galactic funeral. However, a catastrophic event leaves him stranded amidst debris and dead passengers, uncovering a universal conspiracy in the process. Navigate through the wreckage, survive various threats like suffocation and freezing, and craft a variety of objects using an array of tools. Transform your space station into a bustling hub, build transportation options like rockets, and even sound your own car horn for added amusement and chaos in this cosmic journey through breathage. Moving on to the next game number eight, is the Outlast Trials. Embark on a chilling cooperative survival experience in the Outlast Trials by Red Barrels. Set during the Cold War, players become unwilling test subjects of the Murkoff Corporation, enduring nightmarish trials of brainwashing and mind control. Whether braving the horrors alone or with a team of up to four, players must navigate through immersive story-driven therapies and modified map challenges, using stealth to evade enemies and disturbing tasks to progress. Customize your character, decorate your cell, and uncover evidence of Murkoff's sinister malpractice as you strive to survive, all while facing the constant assault on your identity and beliefs in a bid for freedom and salvation. Coming up next, number seven, is Dying Light 2 Stay Human, Reloaded Edition. In Stay Human Step, into a post-apocalyptic world overrun by zombies. Play as Aiden Caldwell, a pilgrim on a quest to find his lost sister in the last remaining city, Vildor. Survive the day and flee from the infected hordes that rule the streets at night. Use parkour to navigate the city's rooftops and engage in brutal combat to stay alive. Join forces with up to three other players to tackle challenges and uncover the city's secrets together. Coming up next, number six is Days. In this hardcore open-world survival experience, there's only one rule, stay alive at all costs. DayZ throws players into a merciless world where death means losing everything and starting from scratch. Navigate through complex survival mechanics like hunting, crafting, and resource management while facing unpredictable encounters with other players, leading to emergent gameplay experiences. Explore a vast 230 kilometers 2 map filled with diverse landscapes and landmarks based on real-life locations. With up to 60 players vying for survival, interactions range from forming alliances to deadly confrontations. But beware of environmental threats like erratic weather, dangerous wildlife, and relentless infected, all challenging your survival skills. Up next, number five is Gray Zone Warfare. If Gray Zone Warfare launches successfully on PC, there's a possibility of it being made available on consoles as well. Drawing inspiration from real-world events, the game unfolds after a mysterious incident on a Southeast Asian island, leading to international quarantine. Players take on the roles of three PMCs tasked with exploring the region, uncovering secrets, and retrieving valuable items. Embracing true tactical FPS gameplay, the game offers extensive weapon customization and ballistic simulation, where every decision and fight can impact progress. The unique health system ditches hit points for a more realistic simulation, affecting perception and performance based on injuries. Explore a vast 42 square kilometers open world inspired by the landscapes of Laos, with a mature storyline told through engaging missions and a diverse cast of characters, where trust is elusive and truths are murky. Moving on to the next game number four is Frostpunk 2. Return to the frozen wasteland of Frostland in Frostpunk 2, where you must lead your city to survival amidst the unforgiving aftermath of the Great Storm. Expand your metropolis with diverse districts, navigate faction conflicts, and shape the future of society. As tensions rise and internal strife threatens, it's up to you to manage crises and guide humanity towards a new destiny in this gripping sequel. Up next, number three, is This War of Mine. In This War of Mine, players control a group of civilian survivors in a war-torn city, striving to stay alive amidst constant danger. The game combines survival 
survival and strategy elements, requiring players to manage their character's health, hunger, and mood levels while gathering resources and upgrading their shelter. During the day, survivors remain indoors due to hostile snipers outside, allowing players to craft tools, trade, and heal. At night, players can scavenge nearby areas for valuable resources, encountering other NPC survivors whom they can choose to assist or rob. The game features multiple playable characters, each with unique traits that influence gameplay and contribute to various endings. DLCs introduce additional challenges and gameplay mechanics, such as child survivors who require special care and attention. Up next number two is Medieval Dynasty. Embark on a medieval adventure, start as a humble farmer or hunter, and evolve into the leader of a thriving village. Survive harsh seasons, recruit villagers, and build your dream home in this dynamic open world. With detailed customization and cooperative multiplayer, shape your destiny in this captivating medieval experience. Finally, coming up the last game is Alan Wake 2. After over a decade, Alan Wake 2 is finally here. In this sequel, players enter a survival horror experience from a third-person perspective. They play as either Alan Wake or Saga Anderson in separate single-player stories. Armed with firearms and a flashlight, they navigate eerie environments, managing limited resources like batteries and ammunition while facing enemies. The game includes detective elements, allowing players to gather clues and manipulate reality to uncover a chilling narrative with ritualistic murders and mysterious organizations. With its gripping storyline and innovative gameplay mechanics, this sequel offers an intense and immersive horror experience.